Hi, it's Coach Allen, SBG NorCal, here with your striking tip for the week. And we're going to be going over how to do a turn back kick. So first I'll show you what the, the whole thing is going to look like. Switch your stance. Thank you, John. So that's the uh, whole technique, what it looks like. Let's uh, break it down a little bit and go over the best ways to learn this. First thing is getting the foot in the right position. One thing I really like about the turn back kick versus a side kick is that the turn back kick, the way I'm actually executing it is with my back towards my opponent and bringing my foot up. So this is one of the ways I will practice that is just learning to bring my foot up by putting my hand by my pocket and then kick straight out. So I learned that basic motion on the bag to get that donkey kick kind of motion going. I like the turn back kick a little more than the turn side kick because one, I can throw it a little sooner, right? I don't have to be fully rotated and bringing my leg up from the side. I can have my back turned a little bit. And also, it kind of slides under the guard of my opponent. So from here, right, if I'm doing a side kick, my kick tends to come up from the side. It's easy to see and easy to block. From this position, my foot's going to come right up under his guard. Hard to see and a little bit harder to block. So first key is get on the bag. Give yourself a little bookmark with your hand, look over that shoulder, and kick. Work at both sides, bookmark, I touch my heel to my hand, and throw the kick. That's the first level of getting this kick down. Important to work on that. If you don't get that right, the rest of it's going to be a little bit different, a little more difficult. Second part is setting the kick up. Two ways, either he moves or I move. I want my opponent a little bit lined up on this side of me. So I can do that by throwing my jab and sneaking my foot out so that when I turn, right, I've got him lined up right here with that kick. The other way is if I do something to make him want to move that way. In other words, if I throw kind of a, a loopy right, it forces him over that direction. And again, he's right in line for my kick. So I want him, thank you, John. I want him lined up for me, not straight in front, but a little bit on the side. So either I got to move or he has to move. For our purposes, for training, obviously I can't get this bag to move, so I'm going to put my foot to the side. Come in with that turn back kick. Other important element, turn your head. You're not going to be able to throw this kick if you're looking off into space. You got to focus on turning and looking over your shoulder of the leg you're kicking with. That's going to get your body around, your head around, and you'll land that kick every time. Thanks very much. It's Coach Allen, SBG NorCal. Thanks for tuning us in. Be sure you like and share this uh, video and hope to see you on the mat soon.